I had somebody ask on my YouTube channel whether one is able in the affinity range to change the distance from the bullet point to the text. For example, if I type this text now, I've used the uh, text frame tool, this one here, but you could use it also on artistic text tool. So usually you type in some text and then you'd go to the menu bar and you click on bullet list. Okay, but there's no particular area to change this area or rather no obvious area now where would you start looking first is in the paragraph area so the characters here if you wanted to space the characters or kerning or all that you'd go to it's here under view um, you can come to studio and you'll see there's characters now I don't have mine checked yours might be checked and then it, you could have docked it on either side on the right or left side of your panel and the other area would be paragraph so I don't have them checked uh, by default but where you go for this setting is not the characters as I said the characters apply to the actual spacing with text and lots of those parameters you go to the paragraph now if I click on paragraph it will pull out here it's just on my other screen so I'm dragging it across here okay I'm going to collapse these little windows here that says uh, spacing tab stops justification and here we have bullets and numbering now on top here um, if you pop this down you'll see the if I hover over these different ones you'll see the text start to respond differently so these are presets so you can create a new style and save the presets in there and the presets basically will record whichever spacing tab stops justification or bullet settings you have in that area and then you can recall it by just pulling up a new style okay um but where we're going to target now is the bullet area and let me just show this to you if i click on this little arrow down you see starting from the top there it says bullet uh, so we're on the right one as per the question that was asked but if i go here you can see if i click on the numbers you'll see that changes to a number if i go to the next one it changes to those roman numerals or capital letters etc so i want to go to bullet so it's referring to bullet now um, there's a thing levels which I'm not going to chat about now this is the point that I want to cover and this is context sensitive so if I'm bullet the text area here changes let me just show you if I go to that there you see there's something quite a bit different showing up here and I'll explain that now so let's go back to bullet what this means is is that you have the ability to choose this bullet uh, object whether it's a, a dot a triangle so if I click this down here, you'll see there's lots of options. We can have a square, uh, triangles, diamond shapes, everything. Okay, but I want you to notice this, that you see in this text line here, you see there's a, a dot and then there's a double right and pointing arrow. That dot is represented here with the bullet point that double arrow actually indicates a tab so if you press tab on your keyboard it's represented here as a tab now just look at this if i click in this area okay so i mustn't be here where i'm typing i'm going to click into this area if i go backspace here i'm going to be deleting this tab you're going to notice that when i delete the tab it is going to show the dot and no tab in between watch what happens here in the text remove the tab can you see there it's showing there's a dot and immediately you have the text so if I want to bring that tab back if I click this down here you'll see there is a tab button here now there's no button apparently here for like just a single space but it's easy to introduce it by just tapping on the keyboard while you're in this mode okay I'm going to click tab here again and you see the tab comes there you notice that now would it jump to two tabs if I add another one yes it will if I go there and I click another tab look what happens to the text so this jumps a double tab over here okay but I don't want that there so I'm going to backspace and backspace now we have it close up here as if it's just a text that's put together so that's the bullet no space in between so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to click here and I'm going to press space bar Okay, you notice it's moved there, but it's not putting anything in here. It won't show anything here because I'm still busy sort of doing an edit. Uh, if I press another space bar, you notice there, 
So I'm going to go the third, a fourth, the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, but I'm going to remove six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. To answer the question, if you wanted two spaces, it's there. Even if I want to only have it one space, I can go one more space back. Now to see that appear, okay, for my practical purpose, I'm going to just put another space. To see the actual uh, um, indication that there are two spaces here, you've got to click off everything. So I'm going to just click off here. And if I click back on here, you can see it shows up there. And this blue box with these dots in here appear to be spaces. So what we have is a dot and two spaces. Now if I wanted to change the bullet shape here to something else, I can look at text and see what I can change it to. But if I drop in, for example, a square now, the square is going to populate at the end here and it's going to put it at a different position. So it's going to be dot, it's going to be two spaces and then the square is going to come here. Let's see if that happens. Uh, choose square. There we go. So that's dot. There's the dot. There's two spaces, which is indicated by these two, and there I have. So this is the kind of formatting for the spaces of the bullets. Okay, so I don't want this here. Uh, if I wanted the square to be where this dot is, what I'll do is click in here, just go backspace. I'll come over here and I'll select the dot here. Maybe do backspace. So there's nothing there, but it's just the two spaces. And if I click here, I can now choose maybe this triangle and there we have it so it's triangle two spaces and the text okay so hopefully this helps you there's a lot of other features here I'll probably go through that in in another video but if you look at this here this is where you go and do the difference in setting of the space in the bullet area okay so there we have triangle and we have two spaces and after that would be what whichever text that you're typing in if I go to the next line you see it will be there you say happy okay remember if you want to type on another line immediately underneath it you can do a soft return and then it won't give you a bullet immediately you keep the shift button down and you press enter and then I'm going to type in birthday so you see it doesn't bring in another bullet there that's just normal editing so it's called a soft return keep shift down press enter so if I press enter now without the shift it's going to give me the next bullet point and at this point I can change that bullet point I can go in here and backspace that and maybe choose uh, let's put a diamond okay and carry on there when I click on to happy birthday you will see this formatting will change to the arrow look at this is a diamond if I click here you see arrow if I click down here you see it's diamond okay so that's how you can change the bullet even for individual ones uh, or change the space in between. Hopefully that's helped and uh, gives you a bit more flexibility in being able to edit. So have a fantastic day. Shalom.